President Museveni has been in South Africa to strengthen trade and political ties between Pretoria and Kampala. Once people know that you will make profit and supply goods, those are just software issues. Uh, because what value do we get from uh, blocking people or delaying them with the regulation? So uh, uh, rationality and demand will remove them. They will be removed. This is because they were not highlighted. So, like a visa. Visa, what is... Why do you constrain business people with visas? They should travel, they should, should get what we call multiple re-entry visa. I get a visa, I come back, I come whenever I want to. That's, uh, so logic will replace irrationality. The visit comes at the time when Uganda is facing criticism for its decision not to renew its agreement to host the United Nations Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. Beyond its current year term, which ended in February this year, President Museveni has defended this decision. This is because we have a Ugandan Human Rights Commission, which is mandated by the Constitution. So having others, which are not part of our constitutional system, is first of all unnecessary, but also diversionary. Because some of the people may not know the difference. Instead of going to report to where action can be taken, they go to the UN. What can the UN do in Uganda? They, have, they, they don't have the powers of, of enforcement. The ones who have the powers of enforcement are the Uganda National Human Rights Commission. So why divert, divert uh, attention of complainants with multiple points? Because for the ordinary people, they may not know the difference. Another thorny issue is the proposed bill affecting the rights of the LGBTQI community. This is the mistake of Western countries. They are the ones who are provoking because they, 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 they are really, the English word is insufferable. You can't put up with their nonsense because nobody concentrates so much on homosexuals and nobody is hunting them. But because they come and want to force us to say homosexuality, oh yeah, that's how you get now a backlash. <laughs> they are the ones who are provoking all this. The, our attitude on homosexuality is that these are deviants. They are deviants from the normal. There is the normal, there is the deviation from the normal. But you don't kill. The deviation from normal is also part of nature. You can get somebody born with six, inch, six fingers instead of five. You can't kill him. But then you don't go around and say, oh, this one, the deviation is the normal. It is the provocation by the Western countries. He recently spoke to the president of Ukraine. Our talks were exploratory. But what I told him was that Uganda has no, pro no food problem. Because Uganda, has, we have a lot of food, but this is not the case with other countries. So still the problem remains. But I wanted him to know that there are some African countries which are strong economically. So, Fimukwen, SABC News, Pretoria.